Hello, my name is Ambrose. Right here on my arm is a stick insect. Just like praying mantises, stick insects sway their bodies as if they're just the stick moving in the slight breeze. It looks so much like a stick that it's easily camouflaged. During the day, they can be difficult to spot because they are often motionless. With their front legs in front of their head, so they look even more like a stick. They are more active at night when they feed in eucalyptus trees, using their mouth to bite into the leaves. The shape of their face and mouth actually reminds me of a British bulldog. It can be difficult to accurately identify stick insects. Because there can be considerable variation within each species, they can be different sizes and they don't all have the same distinguishing features. I think this species is a native Australian called a margin winged stick insect. You can tell this one is a nymph because it doesn't have wings yet, just small wing buds. right there. When they are adults, the female is larger than the male. She grows up to 200 millimeters in length. Even though she is larger than the male, her wings are smaller than the male's wings. The sound you can hear in the background is the wind in the trees. Today is a very windy day. Their eye pattern is unusual and quite awesome. What's interesting about female stick insects is that they are parthenogenic, which means they can reproduce asexually without a male being present. In a simpler term, the eggs can hatch even if they haven't been fertilized by a male. Because stick insects' eggs are very similar to seeds, some ants mistakenly bring them into the nest, away from all the stick insect predators, and they can hatch in the ant nest undisturbed. And when they hatch, they can get out of the ant nest without being attacked by the ants, as the ants just think it's a large version of themselves. Another interesting fact about stick insects is they can regenerate lost limbs when they molt their old exoskeleton. The exoskeleton is an external skeleton that protects and supports the stick insect's body. A lot of mini beasts have exoskeletons. Well, I better say goodbye, so thanks for watching and bye for now. I'll see you in our next adventure. Subscribe and you can join me on our next adventure.